Welcome and thanks for visiting with us today as we talk about Akuma's Multis U3000. I'm Bob Jewell, sales engineer here with Akuma America, joined by my colleague. Hi, I'm Craig Mainzinger, applications engineer here at Akuma. Akuma's Multis U3000 is a multitasking machine with automatic tool change, sub spindle, and lower turret. Another unique feature to this Multis U3000 is our compact H1 head. Yeah, the new compact head has been reduced six and a half inches. This increases the machining envelope all while maintaining the same footprint. It lets you make bigger parts in the same floor space. If making the head smaller wasn't enough, it now puts out 33 horsepower. This is four more horsepower than the predecessor. Craig, I see this new compact H1 head is still used in the Capto C6 tooling. And the C6 is capable of holding both turning and milling tools. It's very capable for that. Now, when you're using it as a milling function, this B-axis indexing head has features such as 0 .001 degree indexing, it has slant machining mode, and it can do helical milling in this slant machining mode. All those are standard. All standard. Yeah, and these add up to make it precision angled machining as simple as three axis machining. Very straightforward. There's a dedicated setup page here. You can set up the 10 different positions. They each have their own torque and positioning tolerances. Now, once you put the center in there, you can call up these positions and the sub spindle will behave like a tailstock. It approaches the work in a controlled manner. It will sense the part. It will then clamp the axis against that part and allow you to machine it. You can either program these, this to happen or you can use operator controls and manually load it up like that. With the Multis U3000, the hits just keep on coming. The features are there. We've got a laser touch setter and tool breakage detection already on the machine. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so there's a combination tool touch setter that is switch based and laser touch setter. Now, the switch based one is very useful for setting your lathe tools. You simply come down, you hit the pad, it sets the length of your lathe tool. But the laser touch setter is capable of a lot more complex measurements, such as tool form and tool runout measurement, as well as tool breakage detection and small tool detection. Thank you for taking the time to visit with us today as we talked about Akuma's Multis U3000. For additional questions, please feel free to call us directly or visit our website at www.akuma.com. Thank you.